We waited 13 years for a sequel. We can do it again, right? Now that Avatar The Way of Water's out, we can look forward to Avatar 3 and what it has to offer. But something tells me, the wait won't be that long this time. Do I know something you don't? Definitely. That's right. Audiences won't have to wait as long to watch Avatar 3 because even before Avatar The Way of Water hit theaters, most of the next movie was done. We're not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be honest, we got a movie that was well worth the wait. As always, James Cameron co-wrote and directed it and introduced some plot lines that you can bet will appear in Avatar 3. The success of Avatar The Way of Water was undeniable, a splashing hit if I say so. The eagerly anticipated sequel, which debuted more than a decade after the first film, raked in over a billion dollars at the box office. Avatar is about seeing things from different perspectives, or in Jake's case, a literal different pair of eyes. The film thus ends with a close-up of Jake's Navi eyes as his consciousness is transferred from his human body to his avatar. Clearly, the blue aliens are a hit with audiences, so the franchise won't be slowing down anytime soon. Now, can we have a drum roll, please? The release date for Avatar 3, which doesn't yet have an official title, is set for December 20th, 2024. If this is accurate, the time between Avatar 2 and Avatar 3 will be just two years. We knew it was out there somewhere. Avatar 3 has been confirmed for a number of years. The time that passed between the first movie and its sequels allowed James Cameron and his writing staff to develop the plot in advance. And turns out, he not only has a strategy for the sequels, but also a reason for it. Yep, it's all heart and a whole lot of passion. The director believes a major factor in why he keeps making Avatar sequels is to keep working with the actors and crew. Aw, do you know how rare that is? And doesn't it show in the movies that come out? As you saw, Cameron's sequel strategy was more fully set out in Avatar The Way of Water. The Sully family story will also be continued in Avatar 3 which will once again include Stephen Lang's Colonel Korich as its main enemy. Cameron's plans for Avatar 3 are more established now that it was shot along the same time as Avatar 2. And get this, the motion capture performances for both these films were finished back in 2018. To have the underwater experience and the magic and mystery of that, maybe it will reconnect people with what we are presently losing. Avatar 3 is also anticipated to explore new regions of Pandora and introduce Navi clans that have never been seen before. You might remember the first Avatar movie, which made its debut in December 2009 and swiftly rose to the top of the box office. In fact, many other well-known series, including Star Wars, Marvel, and The Fast and the Furious, have released much-awaited movies since, but none have managed to unseat Cameron's science fiction epic. So he must be doing something right. Now, Cameron recently made an appearance on Edith Bowman's podcast, Sound tracking, where he discussed the making of the upcoming Avatar. There's a very big parallel between Pandora and our planet. The most obvious connection is the coral reefs and the tropical atoll formations. Uh, Can you guess what his secret is? Simply focusing on what we, the audiences, like and dislike. He takes the time to assess what audiences responded to most in his movies and goes back to tinker and tweak things a little. Now, those changes aren't necessarily radical, but he attempts to accentuate the things that the public's responding to. Isn't that the best technique you've ever heard of? It makes me, as an audience member, feel heard and seen. For instance, Cameron said that the character Loak was well-liked by the crowd, so he intends to give him more screen time in the upcoming movie movie, or should we say, sound time. That's right, he accidentally let it slip that Loak will be the narrator in Avatar 3. Now, plot specifics for Avatar 3 are scant and top secret. It appears obvious that Jake's children will play a significant part. Kenny, can you go help your grandmother with the wounded? Please? Yes. I would use Yana Bar. In fact, according to Cameron, they're one of the primary reasons he simultaneously shot the second and third films. Jack Champion, who portrays the human teen spider in the movie Titanic, is growing like a plant. He started with the movies at the age of 12, and because of his growth spurt, it only made sense to shoot not just Avatar 3, but even parts of Avatar 4, along with The Way of Water. We've got to thank the kid, huh? Speaking of cast members, who else do you think made the cut? You can expect to see many familiar faces, that's for sure. Good news, Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana 
Montana will reprise their roles as Jake and Itiri in the sequel, but some characters, including Jake and Itiri's eldest son, who was killed in combat, won't be around. Avatar 3 will also feature Spider, Sigourney Weaver, Britton Dalton, and Trinity Jolie Bliss as Kiri Loak and Tuck, the last three living offspring of Jake and Itiri. Stephen Lang will play Korich, Kate Winslet will play Ronald, Cliff Curtis will play Tanawari, and Bailey Bass will play Rhea. These four actors previously played members of the Mekaina in the film The Way of Water. Oh, Eddie Falco, Jermaine Clement, and Brendan Cowell are also anticipated to make a comeback. Then, Avatar 3 will have a whole new cast of characters besides the existing ones. The role of Varang, who will feature in the following three sequels, was cast with Una Chaplin. Also, Avatar 3 and its sequels will heavily feature an unknown Navi figure played by David Thewlis in the movie. Michelle Yao, who recently appeared in the popular multiverse film Everything Everywhere All at Once, completes the new cast and will play scientist Dr. Karina Moog in the third and possibly even the next Avatar movies. Is there something we're missing? There's one character whose future is seriously in doubt, Jamie Flatters. He portrayed the Navi character Netayam, but Netayam passed away at the end of Avatar The Way of Water, so it's unknown if he'll appear in Avatar 3 yet. The Way of Water has no beginning and no end. But, as we've seen, a character's death in an Avatar movie doesn't necessarily spell their demise. Yes, looking at you Stephen Lang and Sigourney Weaver, as for the human characters, it's been reported that Parker Selfridge, played by Giovanni Ribisi, will have a big presence in Avatar 3 despite just making a fleeting appearance in the first movie. Fans don't know what happened to Jermaine Clement's character, Dr. Ian Garvin, so it seems likely that he'll return to give us all some closure. You can also expect Dilip Rao as Dr. Max Patel and Joel David Moore as Dr. Norm Spellman to most likely return for the third movie. Psst, we might have heard something about the rumored title of the movie. Wouldn't you like to know what Avatar 3 could possibly be called? Even though most of Avatar 3's plot remains a secret, Cameron has revealed that Avatar the Seed Bearer is one of the movie's potential titles. Notice how I said most of the plot remains a secret. We saw that while Jake and his family have made themselves at home with the Mekaina, Korich and the humans continue to pose a threat to Pandora. The Way of Water purposefully left Kiri's parentage a mystery, so that mystery is yet to be solved. Here's another bombshell for you. The three upcoming Avatar movies, according to a BBC News report, will be titled Avatar the Seed Bearer, Avatar the Tolkien Rider, and Avatar the Quest for Awa. Thankfully for all us Avatar fans who are dying for additional info, Cameron loves to accidentally overshare in his interviews. And apparently, we'll get the chance to meet the other residents of Pandora in the upcoming film. The Navi People's Fire Tribe will be presented to us, and in typical bad guy movie trope manner, it seems like they might not be very welcoming. Exciting, to say the least. Now, that's all for Avatar 3. You're welcome, by the way. See ya!